Hello and welcome to the High Lanes workshop, which we're doing online today. Um, for anyone who has been to my workshops before, hi and welcome again. My name is Julie. And if you haven't, you're also very welcome on board today. I hope you find it fun and useful. So what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at the kind of background to the art that we're going to make today and why we're going to make it. Um, first of all, I'm going to look at a very old painting with you um, called Las Meninas by Diego Velasquez. And you'll see it here uh, as the next image. And this was done especially for the King of Spain in the year 1656, which is over 300 years ago. And in the very centre, you'll see a little small blonde girl and she was called um, La Infanta, the little one, or La Infanta Margarita. And she was the king's daughter and she was very important. To the left of the picture, just standing behind the big, huge easel, you can see the artist himself, Diego Velasquez. And La Infanta is surrounded by all of her helpers, our ladies in waiting, Las Meninas. We have British artists here at the High Lanes at the moment, Andrew Vickery. And he has recreated Las Meninas himself from a memory. While he visited the Prado Museum in Madrid, he was inspired by the work and as a result, he decided to paint a copy of it himself. But it's been copied world over by many famous artists, such as Picasso here in this Cubist version. So everything's a little bit more crazy, but you can see that it's still the same, the composition. Um, and also Salvador Dali, the famous surrealist, he's placed a floating globe over La Infanta's face. She's very iconic and she's been used time and time again throughout art history. Here you'll see a fun caricature version of it, uh, The Simpsons, as we all know. Uh, so somebody has done that for fun. And also here in Ireland, we have Sir John Lavery's version called The Artist's Studio. And again, you can see the similarities of the group portrait. Um, also about two years ago in Madrid, around the streets, the street artists of Madrid um, decided to do a project where they recreated La Infanta using 3D design, 3D plastic sculptures, and they coloured her in these beautiful, pretty colours. So she's very iconic and um, she's our inspiration for today. You can see here, this is what we're hoping to make today in our workshop. If you follow my step-by-step -step guide, simply using household objects like plastic bottles, glue, and some tissue paper. Hi guys, welcome to the practical workshop. Um, we're here in the garden today because it's such a beautiful day. So if you can at all possibly get out into the garden or you have a garden space, uh, I highly encourage you to bring the kids outdoors. So I'm gonna just give you um, an idea of what we're making today. This is the Infanta Margarita that we looked at earlier uh, by Velasquez and how to make her. And you're going to need very few materials really. This is a nice one. I've put down paper, but it's not really messy at all because we're not using paint. You can use paint, of course, if you want, but today I'm going to be just using pattern tissue paper. And it's all about using stuff that's uh, available to us around the house. So the simplest of materials really. So even if you've wrapping paper or you have um, some paints or anything at all that you can get your hands uh, to during these times because I know that the supermarkets and art supplies are few and far between. You're going to need a glue stick or you need super glue depending on whether or not uh, the moms and dads or the carers are getting involved to help. And we also have small decorations which you can pick up in um, art supply shops like this here. Some bows and pearls and whatnot. And crepe paper of course is always great. Now if you look at this, it's very simple uh, to assemble. Basically, I'll take it apart. I've made the head here by literally using some white card paper, which I'm going to show you now. And if you literally just trace around a bottle to give you your circle, like so, and bring out about, I suppose, two inches either side and fan around like that and then just go back over your circle again and that gives you the general outline of it and if you get your parents or your guardians to help you with this kids it's literally just cutting around the head oh, 
So now when you've cut out your cardboard, which you can see has a little bit of stre strength in it, and it's basically just A4 white card, 200 grams, okay? So something similar. I mean, if you don't have that, you can use the back of a cereal box. Um, so it's all about products that we can use from around the house, okay? So what you're going to literally do to achieve this is when you've drawn out your details, your facial features, you're going to apply some crepe paper for the hair, add on your accessories, and basically just simply cut out the back of a cardboard box like this to make the neck for support and together. And you'll just literally split them at the end like that when they're glued and you can stick this here on top. Now, obviously I recommend that you draw out your facial features and stick your crepe paper before you do any final gluing, okay? And then you should end up with a replica of that. So the next part is the body. And I've literally just taken a five liter bottle of water, which you can purchase in Aldi, Jones, Lidl, any of those stores, and cut it right up to the top, which gives you that lovely fanned out style of dress uh, for the, the ladies. So that's that there. And you're literally going to take strips. What I would recommend is that you carefully take a small child friendly scissors Preferably, and you literally cut these in squares. Now they're quite delicate, but you can use um, just the everyday Pritt stick on them to glue them down, which is great. So you're not getting that messy thick glue involved in the whole process, which is lovely. And you're basically just going to go all around the edges, a little bit on the middle bottle, and you're going to get started from the top there, the neckline. And you're going to glue it down like so and continue all the way around the dress until complete like so what you're going to do is you're literally using the top of a washing up liquid bottle so you see that it creates the shape of the shoulders and the upper body and you're sitting it onto your dress now obviously let this dry out a little bit and then you're going to apply this. At this point, it's up to parents whether they feel comfortable using super glue or they want to um, just use ordinary sellotape. Um, so if you're giving the kids a hand, I suggest that you can use super glue, but otherwise I would encourage kids to either use uh, masking tape or regular sellotape to secure this on top. So this is what you'll end up with when you've glued both bottles together and you can choose whatever design you like as I said before even if you wanted to you could paint the inside of the bottle and then it's up to your children to place what accessories they like to jazz it up and I mean you can go as low-key as you like or as fancy as you like it just depends on what you want to do so that's your finished product there and then you affix your um your head into the bottle when you're finished with either super glue or you can just use um the prick stick again now the very last part of this is obviously if you like the children can add on arms and um, i just think they look more chic without the arms they kind of look like mannequins um, again, this is entirely down to children and what they're comfortable with and they can get as expressive and creative and imaginative as they wish. For instance, this one here, this is literally a two litre bottle, if you can see underneath here. And it's literally just split in half and we've used the back of a mop and placed it in the bottle. And with some household um, things, we just literally wrapped it up. This was just in our cupboard and we have... Um, Again, place paper, wrapped it all around, the prep paper all around this and put a little design on it. And we have to make a head for that now as well. So you can get really creative with it if you like and you can get more grandiose. So you can get bigger kids if you want or you can go small. And the little kids like to kind of make the smaller, smaller sized ones and that's fine as well. And basically, if you wanted, you could then print out Las Meninas by Velasquez um, on a sheet of paper or any interior scene that you wanted at all. I've just used, I had a Picasso image here and you can place 
<clears throat> place your dolls in these dioramas. So literally use a shoe box and cut them up and they can have their own stage set then. And you're ready to go. You've recreated Las Meninas by Velasquez. So if there are any questions, uh, please feel free to comment below and let us know. But as I say, it's a really enjoyable thing to, to do with the kids. It's very simple to do. You don't need much um, materials. And basically, you should be able to source most of it from household objects. So good luck, enjoy. And don't forget, I also have a recommendation for parents here. If you want to know more about Velasquez, it's called Painter to the King by Amy Sackville. And it's a magnificent read. So that's for the mom and dads, the carers, the nanas, the grandas, anybody who might be interested in learning more about Velasquez and his life. Cheers, folks. Thank you.